Hey guys, it's Vic with High Desert Man, and today I'm smoking a cigar that I'm very excited about. It is the Pravada Cigar Club, The Good Life. And um, I believe this cigar came out uh, in December. I think it was a December release for some people. I got it, um, I actually didn't get it until February. But anyways, uh, just a gorgeous looking stick. I'm super excited to get into this thing, so let's do that after the intro. The Good Life by Brian Descend. Cue the Kanye West song, I'm talking about the good life. Welcome, this is the good life for certain. A few months back, I got a call from J.C. Newman in Tampa, Florida. I was very excited. After all, they make classic cigars like Diamond Crown and Julius Caesar. They wanted <clears throat> to congratulate the club on all of the success we are having and pick our brains about how to create a community within the cigar world and social media. I explained that the success of our club has more to do with our members more than some magical thing I created. I then told them that to share the love and community we all have created by allowing us to honor the honor of having an event at their soon to open cigar museum in Tampa and possibly making a cigar for the club. They are a big company, and while they do not move as quickly as some of the boutiques, their materials and production quality are top tier. This is also a company that is spending hundreds of thousands of dollars fighting the FDA on the infamous regulations we all dread. Support them. After a few revisions to the blends, we arrived at The Good Life, hand rolled using the finest and thickest Connecticut broadleaf wrapper and Nicaraguan fillers, this cigar epitomizes the good life. I truly believe this is to be the benchmark of today's dessert style cigars. This is a cigar I will reserve for celebrating life as often as possible. Possibly the most decadent cigar you will ever smoke. Wow. So it is a big cigar. Um, it's not 60 though. I'm guessing it's maybe a 56. So let's see here. Six about six and a quarter in length and let's go to 56 54 oh it's a 54 it's a, it almost appears to have a little bit of a of a uh, box press like a soft box press so maybe that's why it looks a little off but it, yeah it's a 54 Six and a half by 54, wow, that's, that's a good, good sized stick. It started raining this morning. I got no sleep at all last night, was up the entire night, and then fell asleep for about an hour and a half, a little bit ago on the, on the couch. Top cap is awfully, well, it does its job. It's awfully small though. It's, <laughs> it almost looks like, uh, a toupee or something. <laughs> Nicaraguan fillers, binder two, I'm guessing. The only, the only one he called out really was the Connecticut Broadleaf, and wow, it is, um, it is a Connecticut Broadleaf. I mean, it's very bumpy, veiny, uh, rustic. There's, uh, there's no tooth on it. It's, it's got a very slight satiny matte finish, but there's no tooth. So Brian oversaw the uh, blend process on this, and he designed the band, and it is a really cool looking band. It's got some pink in there. It's, it's just an odd color combination. Gold, green, and pink, and then black and white stripes across the back. It tastes like chocolate cake on the cold draw. That's crazy. <laughs> Nothing much on the man. I, I I just feel like I'm off my game today. My my dog. My dog uh, hurt his hurt the <coughs> hurt the pad on one of his toes. We went down to the valley to pick out to order our new glasses. My wife and I are getting new glasses, 
in uh, we left him with my parents and my other dog my parents have a really big uh, I it's got to be some kind of boxer and she, she's definitely got some pit bull in her I know that she's a huge dog though she's a, she's probably right around a hundred pounds And uh, one of my dogs is totally in love with her. Soto's kind of a little taken back by her because uh, because she's so big. And Soto's kind of small, and he's he loves to play rough and stuff with Mickey. But Beatrice is just a little too big for him. And so, anyways, I think they played uh, too much and stuff. Anyway, we got home. And the side of his toe was all swollen and, and, and looked pretty rough, pretty raw. So my wife took him in yesterday to the vet and they had to do surgery on his paw and they got a bunch of pus out of his paw and stuff. So anyways, he was up all night trying to chew the bandages off and stuff and I kept thinking that dog would, would um, you know, eventually just get tired and go to sleep. Not, not a bit. I might have fallen asleep or dozed off for eight or ten minutes at a time just a couple times last night. That freaking dog kept me up the whole night. Wow, it's really good. Definitely Nicaraguan. The you know it's interesting for me how how uh, similar and yet different. Uh, San Andreas Mexican and Connecticut broadleaf are uh, because I, I tend to get some of the sweet notes some some of the same sweet notes and stuff from both wrappers uh, San Andreas definitely I get more spice out of this doesn't have very much spice it's got a little bit of a bite but it's not bad pretty darn smooth the draw is just a little bit tight, but it seems to be smoking very well. And uh, apparently this is a J.C. Newman made cigar, so that's that's pretty slick. All right, I'm not really getting any sort of chocolate notes or anything off of it right now. I'm mostly just getting peppers, all kinds of peppers, a little bit of cayenne, a lot of black, a little bit of white pepper. Uh, some some sort of Cajun baking spices and stuff. Oh, and it's got a really, really nice, a very specific espresso flavor. PT Coffee. PT Coffee has a blend called Southpaw. It's my absolute favorite uh, espresso blend coffee. I only buy it a couple times a year because it's kind of expensive and it's kind of a treat for myself, but this has an element of PT Southpaw to it that is that is just nice. Interesting too because uh, one of the reasons I like Southpaw so much is it's got a very nice uh, chocolate note to it with a little bit of caramel notes. Oh man, this is good, Brian. You you have to stop this, man. Because this, the, okay, this stick he, he sells on the website, ProvadaCigarClub.com, go to the shop section, sells it for 15 bucks a stick well, when I last looked uh, a few weeks ago. I may have to buy some of these too. All right, guys, I'm going to smoke on it for a while. Got my uh, Lost Dutchman Roasters uh, cold brew here. I'm trying to wake up a little bit. And uh, we'll talk to you in just a little bit. Stick around. Holy crap. This cigar is freaking awesome. I don't know that I want to spend 15 bucks for more of them, but this this cigar beckons to be uh, held aside in the humidor. It's almost like a special occasion cigar. It is so good. 
Oh, what a cigar. All right, so at the light, I'll, I'll kind of recap everything. Uh, the, the peppers, so there's pepper all throughout this cigar, but the pepper is, uh, is subtle. It's, it's not bad. It's always smooth through the retrohale. And it's a mix of peppers. It's, it, I would say dominant is probably the black pepper, but there's white pepper, there's a little cayenne, there's uh, just um, earlier on in the stick, there's some Cajun spices a little bit. <clears throat> super, super good. But it, like I said, it's, it's subtle. It's, it's never off-putting, it's not too much. The sweetness is also there and the sweetness progresses progressively get, becomes more and more through the cigar it's never really sweet but it's blended really well with the pepper um, of course some great dark rich earth flavors and everything but oh my gosh so in the um, in the the first third the peppers were fairly light but sort of uh, became more it's always subtle but they kind of build a little bit in the first third um, the smoke is velvety smooth really nice velvety smoke it's although it's not necessarily a creamy smoke it's um, I don't know how to describe it it's just a, a really good mouthfeel the finish uh, in the first half is kind of short to medium but then it becomes medium and, and uh, it ends up being medium like right now the the finish is medium when I got in the second third uh, the, the cigar just became more smooth progressively it gets smoother and smoother for me the peppers still there but the, but the peppers become more married so uh, by that point I couldn't necessarily pick out the individual peppers it was just a good blend of pepper the the chocolate notes on this oh, okay let me back up so I said it tasted a little bit like uh, the PT Southpaw blend coffee es espresso specifically that amps up throughout the smoke and the espresso flavors on this are just fantastic, but it's not... Espresso is a weird beverage because you can, have, you can have a very bright sort of acidic espresso that is more tart, or you can... Um, there's stuff in between, but t typically my favorite espressos are either those or stuff that's a little bit more smoky, chocolatey, um, slightly heavier, more crema to it and stuff. That, that tends to be the stuff that I really gravitate to and this has a lot of that. It's just freaking beautiful. And then finally, dry chocolate cake. And it's never, it's never just like bam, it's dry chocolate cake. Not like the, uh, the Sin Compromiso number no. five. Th that for me was about as much of a chocolate cake cigar as you could ever get. This one has those elements, but it's more subtle. And all the flavors are blended very well. It's a complex cigar. This is one of the more complex cigars I've had probably in the last couple months. The transitions, the transitions are just beautiful. They're, there's, they're not stark transitions. It just kind of edges into each transition. So the rating, this cigar rated pretty good. Construction was a five, burn was a four. Uh, burn got a four because the draw was slightly tight on this cigar, a little tighter than I like. Put off a good amount of smoke and stuff. About the halfway point, I did have to use the nub tool and I poked, uh, I think three or four holes down the center or down the cigar just to open it up a little bit. <clears throat> but uh, it's been good. Flavor was a five. Body was a four. Transition, four. And price, 3.8. That gave the final score a 4.3 on this cigar. Really, really good stick.
Yeah, I mean, Pravada, just in every way, they're doing something completely different from all the other clubs out there. And um, so it's become my favorite club. I, I love the Pravada Club. PravadaCigarClub.com And uh, check out HighDesertMan.com for the smoke chest and for our killer beard products. I've gotten a lot of good... Uh, comments uh, people emailing me lately on on the quality of our shampoo and our beard oil and all that stuff all right guys hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one stay rugged